boy, I don't even know what the NFL is at this point. I really don't. I really don't. I, I, I have no words. What a lot of people just saw was an absolute beating from the Chicago Bears of all teams. And they dished out a beating to the New England Patriots. Um, this is Bill Belichick coached football. I ain't seen this in quite some time, actually. Like, like I haven't seen, well, actually, it's been a couple years since we've seen something like this happen to Belichick. Like, an absolute thrashing. Like, what, what is, what happened here? I'm confused. You know what else is confusing? The rest of these games from this week. Confusion. Sheer confusion. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, like the Cardinals beat the Saints. Like, what what can you expect from that? Like, and it was a high-scoring game for some reason. I don't know why it was a high-scoring game, but it was a high-scoring game for some reason. And the Cardinals got the win. And then, then, you know, Sunday was just, you know, weird. Like, you got the Ravens barely hanging on. To beat the Browns. They finally were able to stop choking for five seconds. And they almost choked it away again until the Browns missed a field goal. And then there was some ref ball shenanigans at the end of the game. You know, typical typical NFL stuff. Refs, you know, just kind of putting their hands in. at, at it. And remember, the old rule. Remember, the, the saying I always say, ref ball does not discriminate. So, whatever happened... In this game that I did not watch happened, but apparently I believe the refs screwed over the Browns for something I don't know and I don't care because the Browns are not a very good team anyway. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. You know what else I don't know? I, 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 I did not know P.J. Walker is that guy. I did not know he was that guy because... He and the Panthers defense traded away Christian McCaffrey, but more on that in a minute. You know, the Panthers traded away Christian McCaffrey. They they, they fired Matt Rule. You know, they got P.J. Walker starting at quarterback. And then this Panthers defense just showed up out of nowhere, demolished Tom Brady. Like, this man was on, he was eating turf most of the day. He was throwing picks, eating turf, getting frustrated. You know, this is not typical Tom Brady football right here. And the Bucks only scored three points in this game. Like, these wide receivers' hands, just for decoration. Like, they can't catch. They, they This this Bucks offense is just not good at all. Again, how did the Cowboys, how did the Cowboys lose to this team? More on the Cowboys later, but, you know, like, the Panthers, what, what in the world, where did they come from? Where did this team come from? Where, where, where in the world is the NFL through seven weeks of the season? I genuinely do not understand. I thought the Bengals-Falcons was going to actually be a good game, but then Joe Burrow said, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm going to put up 400 yards, put up four touchdowns, you know, you know, give out, give out some gifts and donations to my boys. You know, Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, about to give out them donations and them gifts. Them, and those gifts and donations of touchdowns to my boys. And Joe Shiesty did it again. Put up good, good numbers. And and the Bengals absolutely demolished the Falcons. Like, it, it, it was... Like, the Falcons put up a fight, but ultimately too much Joe Burrow. And how about them Cowboys? Dak is back. They got Chicago next week, and somehow and again, again Chicago. Like I, 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 I could. I again, I'm, I'm still kind of shocked that the Bears whipped up on the Patriots like this. I'm sitting here looking. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't usually watch Monday Night Football. What? What's going on? And then I come come and look at the score, and it's just like, again, I don't even know. But you know. Um, the Lions, unfortunately for the Lions, Jared Goff is not very good, and I don't, I, I don't know what what else is going to take for the Lions to realize that. I don't know what else is going to take for Dan Campbell to realize that 
You know, the culture is not there for Jared Goff. And I get it, the Lions are still kind of injured. Amon Ross St. Brown, I believe he got injured during this game. You know, DeAndre Swift wasn't in this game. And unfortunately, the Lions were just banged up everywhere. And despite the fact that they had a good first half against Dallas, like, too much too much in the second half, too much of that defense from the Cowboys in the second half put the Lions away. And then, you know, the Giants, also the Giants defense out here saving grace. Like, my goodness, man. This Giants team, you know, somehow they're somehow they're six and one. I don't know how they're six and one, but they're six and one, you know. And you know, they had to basically be in a dog fight with the Jags all game. You know, Daniel Jones threw a dime. I'm like, wait a minute, that's that's not supposed to happen. But then again, the Jags just turned it over at the worst possible times. Did some of the worst things at the worst possible times. I'm sitting here like. Because I, I do remember watching like the at least the fourth quarter of this game. And I'm sitting here like, you know, maybe the Jags c- can put this away. But they didn't put it away. Like, again, ETN like turned it over in one of the, you know, weirdest fumbles I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I know, I, I know the Giants were able to get into the end zone and pull this one out. And then, you know, the, the goal line stand, you know, one... And a half yard short, you know, where the Jags were getting the touchdown to tie and potentially win the game. And the Giants said, no, we we not about that here. We're not about losing here. <laughs> and they, and the Giants did it again. You know, they've overcome and they continue to win. That's just the Giants' way at this point. And speaking of the way the Packers lost in a humiliating fashion to the Commanders, which is absolutely surprising to me. Because, I mean, Taylor Heineke was starting. You know, the Commanders weren't, you know, doing great at the beginning of this game. But then that defense came in and said, "Uh uh-uh. But again, it's about these defenses this year, I think. You know, yeah, there's still some ticky tack type things but then the commanders were like uh uh-uh, uh we we're done we're done playing around and again we know that the commanders have a really good defense and they showed it once again cuz I'm sitting here for like 3 quarters of this game I'm sitting here like wait a minute why does Aaron Rodgers only have 69 yards passing uh, I'm not like like, he, like I swear Aaron Rodgers had like less than 150 yards passing in this game And and at the end of it all, it ended on you know a bad lateral that didn't go too well. Like like the Packers turned it over, and that was it. That was that was a wrap after that. Like again, unexplainable type things. Like Josh Jacobs running all over the Texans. Like this man's been putting in work. The past couple weeks, he's gotten he had three touchdowns against the Texans. You know, the Raiders were able to get a pick six in this game and you know beat the Texans by like 18 points. There's also the Titans Colts, which again I don't know how this game was for first place in the AFC South. Um, but that game was like I turned that game off when it was 13 to nothing. Like I, I was flipping through, you know, because I, I was definitely you know, watching um, the Cowboys game, but I was flipping through some other games, you know, throughout the the, um, the the early slate, and I'm sitting here like, why is Matt Ryan just throwing picks all the time? We'll talk about who's replacing Matt Ryan on Thursday, but for now, uh, the Titans, uh, again, I, I genuinely don't know how they lead the AFC South right now because they just haven't looked the greatest, but it is what it is. Somebody has to win the AFC South, and it could come between those two teams. Um, speaking of two teams trending in two different directions, the Broncos, a Russell Wilson, he was out for this game. Had a little injury, and you know that Jets defense just shut the Broncos down. I mean, you trot out Brett Rippin 
out there and he's basically a sitting duck at this point because I mean the Broncos didn't do anything on offense as usual the Jets all they needed to do was do just enough again Zach Wilson has been able to throw the ball all season long and I mean the Jets using that defense using Brees Hall and unfortunately for Brees Hall he got hurt and he's done for the season those ACLs man oh man I hate you know ACL injuries man but the Jets did it again like they're five and two again come I, I don't even know at this point like you know at, at least the Chiefs sent us you know a little bit of normalcy through the day because I mean again this game was kind of wishy wishy-washy in the first half too because like the Chiefs were turning it over they fumbled they uh, Mahomes threw a pick you know, that the 49ers cashed in. You know, Jimmy G was actually playing competent. But as soon as Jimmy G threw that pick at the goal line, things completely changed. Miko Hartman had three touchdowns. Mahomes was slinging it all over the field. You know, the Chiefs just steamrolled the 49ers in the second half of this game and put a hurting on them. Like, the 49ers didn't know what to do. And it's a shame. You know, again, they they got Christian McCaffrey, and that did not help this team at all. Did not help. You know, they, they say the 49ers are you know the most talented team in the NFL, but I just don't I just don't see it. Like they haven't been playing like one of the most talented teams in the NFL right now, and they're just they're just they're just not gelling together. I'm sorry. Like. This is this is yet another 49ers letdown in the worst ways possible because they 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 got they they got the pieces there it's just not all connecting you know same thing with the Chargers like again the pieces are there you have Khalil Mack on defense you have Justin Herbert on offense you have Austin Eckler and you let Geno Smith and Kenneth Walker my boy run all over y'all and also my cousin Marquise Goodwin. Yeah, y'all didn't know that. Um, you know, um, distant cousin, though. Distant cousin. Like, very distant. Like, I, I almost forgot that he was actually my cousin for like five seconds. Um, you know, the Seahawks, they beat the Chargers. They lead the NFC West. You know, um, I, 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 again, I'm, I'm, I'm just as shocked as you are because I'm sitting here like, the Seahawks are going to be complete trash this year. They're going to be like a four or five win team at best. And now they've got four wins. And now the best, one of the best games next week is going to be the Giants and the Seahawks. Like, did you call that at the beginning of the season? No, I didn't. And then you have the Steelers and the Dolphins to wrap it all up. You know, because again, talk about the Bears Patriots game first. And, you know, Tua came back still looks like he's not completely there because man's was doing a little bit too much out there and kitty pickett what else can you say about kenny pickett that hasn't been already said man's is a rookie like like the steelers are in rebuilding mode so like what 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 can what else can you do what else can you say like the steelers are just not gonna be that team this year like yeah, and there, there are some things that are just, I, like you look at the, no, no, let, let, let's let's just look at the NFL standings. Like like you look at the NFL standings right now, and uh, I'm I'm just like how how are things the way they are right now? How are things the way they are right now? Like you look at the NFL standings, you know you see the Bills and, and the Chiefs. And, you know, the Ravens, the Bengals, and then you got the, the Titans. But then everything else after that is just a mess, a complete mess. Like the Dolphins are 4-3-2. and three, two. You know, you got the NFC East being beastly. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, the Commanders are even 3-4 and four now. You know, it don't make sense. The Seahawks lead the NFC West. Does not make any sense. The Vikings were on a bye this week. And they lead the NFC North. Doesn't make any sense. The Bucks are still atop the NFC South, but everybody in the NFC South is under 500. It doesn't make any sense. This league is not making any sense this year, and I'm all here for it. 
let's hope next week gives us even more. Until then, I'll see you all later on this week. Um, we got we got some other things to discuss in the college football world, and um, you know this will be the last week that I'm here, so expect a little delay at some point. So I'll see you all on Wednesday. Hopefully, it'll be you know around the same time here. If not, it'll be somewhere else for the time being. Good night, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the NFL this week because I, I have no answers to what happened this week. I really don't. I don't know. <laughs>